I'm Geoffrey Owen and I look after the artistic planning at the Halle, which means I work in conjunction with Sir Mark Elder, our music director, and other conductors. When you're arriving at a concert programme, quite often there will be some threads from different directions that come together. And uh, in this case, there's uh, Sir Mark's ongoing exploration of Vaughan Williams' symphonies. And Sir Mark's work with the Halle has become, as we hoped, synonymous with English music. This year, 2016, is the centenary of the Battle of the Somme, which has an impact on all of the pieces in this programme. One of the other things is uh, we've an, an ongoing project of commissioning new pieces for our wind principles to play. And uh, John Caskin's oboe concerto is very much part of that. When you commission a new piece, even from a composer you know and trust, you never know quite what you're going to get. And in this case, uh, we were very, very excited by the results. We start with Ravel's Pavane pour un enfant défunt, which is a collection of words I've always rather enjoyed. And I understand Ravel felt the same way because he said it's nothing to do with the music at all. He just liked the sound of the title. The war had a huge impact on him. Uh, he was in his early 40s. He lost many friends. And apart from one important piece uh, as a tribute to lost comrades, he, um, he wrote very little during the war. Uh, Vaughan Williams' previous symphony, The Pastoral, had d risen directly out of his war experiences. And uh, the F minor symphony seems somehow to express a degree of anguish and intensity that you don't find in his early music. It may come as a shock to somebody who's only ever heard The Lark Ascending because of, there's a dissonance and a violence in some of the music. It, it makes for an extremely powerful and memorable piece. And then we come to the Elgar, and it describes a soldier recalling marching along a lonely road, passing a ruined farmhouse with a shell hole in the roof, and hearing a young girl singing about how one day they would be able to return to look after their animals and look after their land. I think this is a case of one of those programmes when a member of the public who might know some of the music by some of those composers looks at it on the page. They're wondering quite what might be in it for them. I think what we've got is something that's going to be extremely rich and full of excitement and full of emotional power.